This video pertains to the modified Schober's test. This test is performed to determine whether or not a patient's range of motion through their lumbar spine is appropriate. It's often used in investigation of rheumatologic disease where patients may have a limitation in this range of motion. To perform this test, you need appropriate patient counting so that you can see the mid and low back. You also need a pen and a measuring tape. You'll make three marks. The first mark is going to be in the midline of the spine at the level of the dimples of venous. The second is going to be 10 centimeters superior to this along the midline of the spine. And the last is 5 centimeters below your initial mark. There is a total of 15 centimeters between the top and bottom mark. The patient standing upright. The patient then flexing forward, this measurement should expand to at least 20 centimeters. If it does not, the patient may have a restriction in their lumbar spine range of motion.